Hey, what's going on guys? Alex with NBC 11 Live. Team 1-1, born to compete. And you saw him this past weekend on our feature game with NBC 11 Live, and of course, us born to compete. Luke Nickel, the quarterback at Milton. What's up, homie? What's up? How are you doing? I'm fantastic. How you feeling? I'm good. Just got just won the um, big rivalry game. Yeah, yeah. Feeling great. All right. Had practice. You told me practice was like an hour and some change. Uh, tell me about practice today. Was good? Um, very good. We just put a good 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 game plan in mm -hmm. for uh, Alpharetta, another yep. big rival. Yep. And we feel confident about it. All right, let's talk about last game. Um, big game, a lot of emotions going on. Uh, Roswell, mm -hmm. Robbie Roper, of course, all those emotions. The communities know each other pretty well. Packed house. From what I heard, I don't know how much truth <laughs> is to this, but it was one of the largest crowds in Milton history. It was. If not the largest yep. from ticket sales, from what was told to me. How are you feeling, man? You look up in the stands, <laughs> packed. How are you feeling? It was it was very packed, yeah. and um, you know we're all talking and yeah. um, just a big rival. So you know just a lot of emotions, and we we actually handled it really well, yeah. and we didn't get a, um, too rattled up about it, and we just stuck to our game. Okay, <clears throat> look, they were able to have a kind of a stout defense, mm -hmm. and they were stop a couple things you guys did. You know, you able to get out early, you come around the corner, and you set the tone. Big time run. And we're not going to say you ran over nobody, but we're going to say <laughs> you established male dominance out there. That's what we're going to say. Uh, tell me about the play. You run around left corner, drop your shoulder, and you, you ignite the crowd and, and your teammates and all that. Yeah, the DN just came running in, and yeah. I was like, free hole for me. And mm -hmm. first, couple of first couple plays of the game, and I felt like I just had to yeah. set the tone, yeah. set the tone early. It did too. Yeah. It did. I mean, I'm standing right there on the side. I'm like, whoo, <laughs> boy, that is the guy that's been our quarterback of the year for multiple years. That's that's him, player of the year, all kind of stuff like that. Um, you go through the game, back and forth, back and forth, and then you're able to complete a pass. Big play, yeah. right? Score a touchdown. Uh, tell me about that play. You know, just, I saw the safety like 30 yards back, and I yeah. was like, and this linebacker just sat, and the seam was wide open. I was like, we're running down, and it was awesome. Yeah, you hit the pass. My man got into the end zone. Uh, now you're up 14 to seven. And look, this is, I've always said football is the ultimate team sport. Mm -hmm. Because unlike basketball, you can play, excuse me, unlike basketball, basketball, they can play offense, defense, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This in uh, football, you have to literally rely on somebody else. There's nothing you can do mm -hmm. except hope, pray, and wish that things go the way you want it to go. Defense is getting drove on a little yep. bit. They got to stand up. Late in the game, seconds left in the game, fourth down. They make the stop. Tell me about your defense. They they played great. They they played their hearts out. Um, I mean, they drove down to the fourth yard, four, four, mm -hmm. um, fourth yard, fourth yard line, and um, fourth down, and we stopped them. And it was the crowd got wild. Yeah, it was insane. Heck of a play, man. I tell you what, that secondary was. They're, yeah. they're mm -hmm. everything. I'll put yep. it that way. Yep. They are everything. I mean, I saw sometimes y'all went zero mm -hmm. out there to try to get some pressure, trying to bring some heat to the quarterback. And uh, look, they earned their money that night. I'll put it that way. They they're did. not getting paid. <laughs> I'm just saying they earned their money that way. That night, it's just the same. Uh, okay, now you're going to Alpharetta. Another big time rivalry game. Yep. Got Coach, uh, like, what, what's what, Coach Reed? What's up, man? Got Coach Reed over there. <laughs> Give him a shout out. Uh, you've known him for a while as mm -hmm. well. A uh, couple of couple of those guys you've known. Um, tell me about that, man. I know you're excited. How are you feeling going into it? I'm feeling good. Just like uh, I told you earlier, we uh, we put in a good game plan, and um, we're feeling really confident that we should we match up really well against them. Um, our defense should. I mean, they've scored a lot of points, but um, we should be able to match them and stop them, and um, we should score more than them. So. From a recruiting standpoint, you're starting to get a little tension here and there. It's coming, it's coming together, <laughs> you know. Obviously, your brother, yeah, Jackie's, you know, <laughs> at, at uh, Michigan State. Yep. He's at Michigan yep. State doing his thing, you know, trying to get some burn and yep. stuff. And great tight end, big body, big body. And you come in as a quarterback, but with the same physical type of mm -hmm. sense. Let's talk about you playing the quarterback position. You can get it done throwing. You can get it done running. What do you like to do? I like, I, I mean, I like being able to do running and passing, uh -huh. but, uh, um, you know, just being able to keep defenses on their toes and mm -hmm. not being able to rely on just one thing. And um, 
I think it's helped helped us a lot and mm -hmm. like me and as a team. Cause you know, here's the deal, man. If I'm a defensive coordinator, I'm looking at you <laughs> saying, okay, <laughs> all right, we, we got a hands full. You know what I'm saying? And now you're telling everybody, hey, stay home, all kind of stuff like this. And uh, you know, you gotta, <laughs> you're, you're looking at a quarterback that can not only throw it and not only run it, but if it gets ugly and we get in this red zone and we're 10 yards in, mm -hmm. buddy, hey, yeah. <laughs> here it come. <laughs> you, you better get ready. You better tie your shoelace because you're coming downhill. So you, we know you're a weapon like that. Let's go back to the team aspect. You guys are getting better. Mm -hmm. He's gelling together yep. more. I talked to the coach before the game, before the uh, Roswell game, and he said, you guys play some tough teams. Yep. Took a couple tough losses. It is what it is. He said, but he's excited about the rest of the season. Tell me how excited you are about your team for the rest of the season. Um, I'm very excited because those two losses, I mean, I they're top teams in the country. I mean, we battled to the end, yeah. too. So it showed us that we're, we're, we're in there. So, um, I think it battle tested us a lot and we're going to be ready for whoever else is next. So I'm going to end on that, man. Any shouts, anything you want to give? Uh, shout out to my parents for uh, all they do for me. That was a good one. Your brother, maybe? And my brother. Your sister? Yep. And all of them. There you go. You all got a lot of people. You got a lot of people. Go Milton. Go Milton. <laughs> <laughs> that is my guy, Luke, man. Uh, with Milton, one of the best quarterbacks, not only in the state, not only in the region, but in the country. He is absolutely the real deal. And I mean, throw a little, you know, <laughs> throw a little out there, you know, he won our B2C awards multiple times when he was younger. I'm just saying, we haven't been wrong yet. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> say. These are facts. Uh, guys, make sure you catch us. NBC 11 Live, Team 1-1 with Maria, Reg. Again, Reg has a, a new haircut there. Y'all make sure y'all say what's up soon when y'all see him out there. Megan, she's waving somewhere. And then my guy Rick, always smiling, great guy. Of course, us, Alex, with Born to Compete, the number one segment in the country. Take care, guys.